So tonight, I'm going to take you through what I call stages. Now, stages is more like a series of poems. It's more like a love journey, and it's going to be in form of poetry. So I hope you're going to like it. The first poem that I'm going to perform for you tonight is called Beginning. I knelt in a field of orchids and roses, wishing, hoping, and praying that you would forget me not. Not the conversations we had each night you wanted to feel less awake. Not the dreams we shared, for that was the closest to paradise I've ever gotten. Not the way your lips whispered sweet words to me so lovingly. Not the way your eyes looked at me so tenderly. Not the bond we had in entirety. Listen, I know we met in this lifetime as strangers. I know we might have lost what once was. I know everything feels like nothing but just a fantasy. But listen, our souls met way before we did. And you and I existed in a place defining all the love stories and the stars are the testaments of it all. So in this moment, I would eternally be grateful if we could rewrite our destiny and gave it another chance. Because if not in this life, it will surely take its stand in the next. Now like I said, I'm going to take you through this love journey. Now the problem with love is that it's not a smooth ride. First, you have those butterflies in your tummy, everything is good, your cup of gold and all that, and then suddenly it's an answer. Let replies and you start questioning how you got there in the first place. Like, you were fine a minute ago and it's excuses after excuses, lies after lies, and then you start fighting. Now you just start questioning everything. Now the next poem that I'm going to perform is called Emotions. So we're seriously doing this again, right? The fighting, the arguing, I guess this is how we're gonna live the rest of our lives then. Last week was about me smiling too much around your guys and the week before that was my best friend's drama. Now this is your company, really a lot to ask from me. I honestly need to know what your beef towards everything is because clearly something is wrong here. Maybe with me, so be blunt with me. Talk to me properly, don't raise your voice at me, just be the man I fell in love with. See, all your emotions have become so blurred to me now. Personally, asking you each time to know exactly how you feel about everything is demanding. I don't want to drag you to dances. I want us to be happy together. Spend time and find comfort in each other's company like how we used to in the past, but trying all this with you is becoming so tedious. Lately, you've become so hard to please, so please, just be honest with me. Now, when love gets at that stage, the next obvious step is a breakup. But sometimes a breakup is good because then you find yourself. And when you find yourself, it's easy for you to move on. And ladies and gentlemen, moving on is such a beautiful thing. And finding love is a way, is way more beautiful than everything else. So tonight, I'm going to give you hope to those that don't have dates, to those who are heartbroken, to those who want to move on, it's a beautiful thing to love again, so this one is for you, to loving again. The next, the final poem I'm going to perform is called Might Be You. So ladies and gentlemen, Might Be You by Jacqueline Majiwad. I wonder if when you watch me get ready every morning, your chest flatters and burns with the thought of watching that forever. I guess we're together for some typical reasons, but to me those are the things I call love, like how you exhale in our hugs, melt into my chest, arms around my waist, locking our ribs into each other, or when our fingers interlock as you hold my hand. Smiling and with my right hand I squeeze tighter as I promise to be with you Keep all the bad days away from you and love you as much as I can I promise to give you my hand every time with my heart on it I promise to always see the best in you even when you can't Always warm you up and try my best to hear your love My heart will never get bored of your happiness Never ever take you for granted Don't even think of second chances Plan B's and what ifs because truly and eternally with my conscious mind I could never ever lose someone like you to the test Someone who serves me the best in my mind and makes me forget about the rest I hold the utmost care and respect for you as a person And then as a man and then as a partner Each day I love you harder than maybe you could ever love me 
See, in you I see 10 million shooting stars, 10 million beautiful sunsets exploding and melting when you smile, burning my breath away. Paradise is the moment I look in your eyes. I speak your name so often, trying to make myself feel your presence when you're away. Take so many pictures of you and us and look at them every minute, every hour. I miss you, brace you in my senses, exhaust myself with you to sleep, mesmerize over every word you speak, obsess over every beat you drop as you sing for me and I for you with lyrics and voices that are passionate too. See, I've never imagined loving someone like you, someone who replicates the love I have for them and loves me too. Maybe insecurities, anxiety, or the wrong person, as my previous lover was a jealous man. Never appreciated how respectfully I dress myself, classily I carry myself, powerfully express myself. So I wonder if you see me as I am. I wonder if you see some bits of your mother in me, or a corrected version of her flows. I wonder if when you talk about forever, I'm the first thing that comes to your mind, or if I'm simply a definition of a lover. See, you're irresistible, unimaginable, desirable, and with one single touch, I can't help but falling in love with you once more. Then I guess my redeemer, knight in shining armor, my till death do us part, and my paradise might be you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being such a beautiful crowd. I appreciate you.